Welcome to Cornell Cooperative Extension's Choose Local Fish, Local Seafood Cooking Demonstration videos. By choosing locally harvested seafood, you can be sure your food is fresh, indigenous, sustainable, and healthy. Each purchase of local seafood supports the economic viability of fishermen, coastal fishing communities, and small businesses. Let's join culinary nutritionist Stephanie Sachs in the kitchen as she shows you how to prepare this locally caught fish. Okay, so we're gonna do bluefish burgers now. Bluefish has a very strong flavor and a lot of people don't like it. So I created this recipe with the hopes that anyone will try this. Really, really simple. Now, words to the wise. When you get bluefish, ask for it to be skinned and filleted. You will always have skin on the bottom here. And your bluefish, sometimes you'll see a very dark red patch down the center. That's the area of the bluefish that has the really strong flavor. So actually you can remove it. And some people love to include it, but you can remove it. So we're gonna take the bluefish here off the skin. So I make a, a slight slice down the tail. I'm holding the tail, the skin, and I'm using my really sharp fillet knife to move it down. Just like so. I'm gonna move my hand along to hold the skin. This happens to be an easier fish to pull the skin off of. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break the bluefish up into pieces in the bowl. You can do it with your hands, you can mash it with a knife, but I like to get my hands dirty with food. So, and I encourage you to do the same, I really do. And then I'll repeat this with the rest of the fillets until we have a nice bowl of bluefish. This is so cool. <laughs> you ever done this? This feels so good. This is a great thing to do with kids, by the way. Um, to get them in the kitchen, get them touching and feeling food and playing with it. It makes them not afraid, but make sure their hands are clean. All right, so here is our essentially mashed bluefish. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rest of the ingredients in. So that's one egg, beaten, Some garlic, these are pretty big cloves, so I'm just gonna do one of them. And I encourage you to get creative with all of these recipes. So there's your garlic, and now we're gonna do the onion. And it's about two tablespoons of diced onion. And I like to use red onion to balance the color and the flavor, but you can also use white. You can also use scallions or leeks. So put this aside. Again, we're gonna use that technique here. I'm cutting down and leaving part of this intact and then running down this way. So a little more than two tablespoons. So I'll do like that. We have our onions and garlic in the bowl with some egg and our mashed up bluefish. We're gonna add breadcrumbs. So we're gonna add a cup of breadcrumbs. You can use any breadcrumbs. You can also use um, cornmeal if you like, less expensive. These happen to be gluten-free breadcrumbs because we have a gluten-free home. So then we're gonna do a tablespoon of mayonnaise. And this is a canola mayonnaise. You can use any kind of mayonnaise. So we'll do about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna take a rubber spatula and mix it around. Now you don't really need to add salt because the fish happens to be quite salty itself and it's so strong in flavor and you've got um, the breadcrumbs, these are seasoned. So I'm starting to mix it with this, but I'm gonna get my hands in there to form the burgers in a moment. I 
love just pulling fresh herb from my pots. So I'm going to put this in. You can put this in at the end. You can put this in um, with everything else. Okay. Now let's form these burgers. Okay. You can actually do them as burgers or sliders, however you want to do them. We're going to make them as burgers. You can get, you know, four really big burgers out of this, or you can get five medium size, or you can get six sort of smaller average size. And there you go. So our burgers are now ready for the grill. I preheated the grill, so on like a low medium which is about 400 right now as I just opened it. bluefish burgers. They look just like turkey burgers or hamburgers. Anyway, um, you can use regular buns, but in my house, um, because I'm gluten-free, we're going to do some gluten-free bread. We're going to make our homemade buns. This is something that um, my older son, Jack, created. Thank you for choosing Local Fish. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Also, please check out the description below for links to more information about local fish species, more recipes, where you can purchase this local fish, and a lot more. Thank you. Thank you.